listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Baby Casey's actually hanging out next to me. She's staring at me. She's in her swing. Uh, hopefully she gives me enough time to try to get this video done. Because uh, what we have here is actually a package that Jessica got in recently. And nope, it's not Skinny Pops. The sort of whatever popcorns. <laughs> not a really big fan of these ones, if I'm going to be honest. It's probably because they're healthy for you and they're gluten-free and all that stuff. <laughs> so it's probably better for you than some of the popcorn. But I, oh, man, like salted, like movie theater popcorn. Anyways, you guys are here for dinosaurs. So what's in here? It's a bunch of random stuff that she got off of eBay. It was like a lot of just random dinosaur stuff she got for the low, low price of I'm not certain what. I don't even know why she ordered it, but you can see there's some dinosaurs in there. So I'm just going to start reaching in, pulling out stuff, and we'll see where we get from there. I know I'm grabbing it. This box in particular, whatever's in here, I kind of wish there was this craft choice stick. I don't even know what this goes to. Does it say? It's for an apple? <laughs> I wish it was whatever's in there, but I guess there's like specific things she wants in that box. All right, so first and foremost, let's go with whatever's on the top. Ooh, shiny dinosaur bank. I think I gotta move that back a little bit farther. <laughs> God, I love the derpiness of the face. He's got like that old fashioned T Rex kind of 50s vibe going on. Let's see. Small World Import Co. Tyrannosaurus Rex. From 1987, made in Taiwan. But this is a bank. The slot is right back here. And he's just kind of standing on a rocky base. You got that little plant. I kind of like the coloring on it, to be honest, too, because it's got that dry brushing, but he's got some browns and greens here and there. Honestly, it looks pretty sweet. Just keep on keeping on. Oh, I saw a galley. I think it's a galley. Whatever this guy is. Also, I might have some paint on me. I was working on a cane model kit not that long ago. Kind of basic. Just like a tan color on the bottom here. I always love that a lot of these that'll actually tell you the dinosaur's name. Oh, so it's a steno... Oh, <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. Stenonychosaurus troodon. It's two, cent two, million, two meters long. Blah, blah, blah. British Museum. Interesting. I just like I seen it and it was like instantly Gallimimus. Next. Oh, we got a para. Just a pewtered colored para. It's got the little fin on the back here. Seeing the date. Made in Hong Kong, so it's just one of those cheaper dinosaur toys. Ooh, a plesiosaur. Oh, this one has like the information on it too. Length about 14 meters. I wonder if it's from the same place. Invicta Plastics. British Museum. Oh yeah, Invicta Plastics. So this is from the same company. Which is blue. He does have a little bit of detailing on the head. He got some teeth. All of that, nothing too complicated. Also one of the reasons why my wife got this is she just likes collecting old dinosaur stuff. I just completely tanked this awesome Tyrannosaurus cup <laughs> that's kind of missing part of its head on there. Probably end up using this to hold some hate brushes. Also made in Hong Kong. Try not to look into the box as much as possible. Just, so I can just pull out things and go. Oh, oh, I know you. I know you. I don't know you off the top of my head. Lambiosaurus. Probably said that wrong. Eight meters. This is a big boy or girl. It's got the little bump on the top of the head. Okay, nothing too complicated. Same kind of plastic going on. Keep things going. Oh, got a. Hmm, I'm thinking on a pata. Diplo. I was totally wrong. Diplodocus. I don't know why I was thinking about it. Now that I think about it. I think it was just because I know it's a dinosaur name that I actually know. He's got a little bit of head detailing. 
The tail is dragging on the ground, as it should be, because us being old dinosaur movie fans, always appreciate that concept. Even though I know it's not realistic, but I wish they would bring more, like, toys back that were kind of in the same vein. Oh, a little stego. Also, something moved in the box, and now I'm scared. Got the same information on the bottom. Is that 67 meters? I'm assuming that's six or seven meters. <laughs> like, oh my god, he's as big as Godzilla. Bigger. At least show a Godzilla, it's much bigger. Ooh, all right. This one's got a little bit of dirty on his head. This one is a... Chasmosaurus. Kind of reminds me of a trike a little bit. I like that the horns are not centered at all. Like the one's kind of going downwards, the one's going upwards. I don't know 100% if that's supposed to be how that is, or that's just some kind of weird mold thing going on. Just keeps coming. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I think it's a Tyrannosaurus. All right, we're good. Oh, I love the color though. It's like this nice blood red. The scaling is actually pretty cool too. He's got some bumps and grooves. He's got that little excess skin under the chin there. Pretty sweet overall. Gotta try to mosey along with this video a little fast. We're already seven minutes. There's quite a bit in this box. I think a lot of these are the exact same company. Yeah, because here we have the Triceratops. And I like the armor plating on the back. It's pretty sweet looking. Actually, these would be kind of dope to repaint. At least some of these. We got... <laughs> oh, I like you. Look at his face. There's a cat here. God, if this isn't like some kind of background dinosaur from Godzilla Raids again. It's an Albertosaurus. I wonder if these scale. I'm starting to think maybe they're supposed to scale. Oh, that it wouldn't make so much sense for this guy, but keep her going. I'm gonna grab. Ooh, we got two here. Oh, is this is an imperial. Oh, it's just random. Oh, the squeaker doesn't work. Now I'm disappointed. <laughs> Oh, God, man, I miss my dinosaurs having teeth on every dinosaur. <laughs> little spiky bits. Pea yellow for the background. A little bit of greens. Then we got this dude. <laughs> Ready for war. He's got the frill on the back. Also made in Hong Kong. This one doesn't have a dinosaur. I know, he looks crazy, doesn't he? Crazy dinosaur. Sure is. Like I said, you might hear baby in the background. All right. Let's take it too long. <laughs> Let's just knock this over. I can kind of thump through this a little bit better. Ooh, a little wooden one. Oh, it's got a heart. That's cute. Like I said, this was just like one giant box of miscellaneous. Because there's super cute ankylosaurus looking dude. Got the little rubber guy here. Just kind of reminds me of those like gotcha figures. Stegosaurus. Exact same stegosaurus. Ooh, it looks like some glow in the dark ones. Again, everybody has freaking sharp teeth for days. You know, that's so scary, baby. It's so scary, Casey. Got dinosaurs. Got all the spikes. Not that on the tail, though. I'm kind of wondering if that's actually broke. It looks like something's missing there. Also, Casey just farted. <laughs> I heard it. Oh, I figured out what's walking. Got a Demetrodon. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. <laughs> He's got spikes on his back for days. Looks cool, though. I also always thought, when I was a kid, I always liked these because you could kind of like shove your fingers in them and just make it look like it was just meow, mowing on you. Got some skeleton dinosaurs. Ooh, they actually come apart. Not a dinosaur. Got the woolly mammoth. Another cup. This one is a Brontosaurus. Some more glow into dark dudes. Although, sadly, this one is... Oh, actually, I think he kind of has teeth. It's very subtle. But he's got some green. And another Stegosaurus. <laughs> what the... 
<laughs> I feel like we've seen you before. <laughs> you looked a little better back then. Oh my god, those eyes. Somebody gave zero craps at the factory when painting this thing. Oh, this is hideous. This one's not much better. Why is this so wrinkly? It looks... Oh, I, I don't want to say what it looks like, but it looks like a part of the male anatomy <laughs> with attitude. Got the spikes on the back. Also made in Hong Kong. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a little puzzle. 54 mini puzzle. Oh, I do like that, though. Picture looks pretty sweet. A dinosaur pencil sharpener? Sign me up. Oh, I was going to say, this is not what I was expecting when I opened this. This is to get the little T-Rex looking dude. But I guess... I'm assuming... Okay, it's just an assortment. So it's kind of a crapshoot, I guess, whichever one you're going to get there. Oh, another dimension on. <laughs> you know, alligator looking dude. Pterodactyl. Oh, this thing looks straight up from Kong. Or Pterodon, I should say. As the wing is trying. God, what the heck happened to his eyeball? It's so low. That looks almost normal. That, no. <laughs> Just no. And I got... Oh, another cute little one. A whole bunch of the little eraser guys. Yeah, you think these ones are pretty cool? They are pretty dope. This one's seen better days. He's a little... He's a little fudgy top. <laughs> he's, he's had some use. Even got some pencils. Little characters on top of them. I'm still waiting to actually see a Godzilla in here, but I'm just kind of almost surprised that I haven't. Another one of these old-fashioned scary ones. He's kind of cool. He looks like from, uh, I don't even remember when you were kids, but they had those like dump bins. Like you could buy the bins of dinosaurs. He kind of looks like that. A skeletal T-Rex. So this is what was moving. Oh, but he's missing the spike. He also only sort of works. I imagine he's a bit older though. Oh, it's a Takara. Uh, it's a Tommy. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if it spikes in here. Oh, I see it. It's in the back there. No. <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody hit him on the top of the head with a bat and he's got like some kind of bad swelling. Uh, for the rest of it, it's mainly more of these little guys. It looks like a bunch of repeat stuff. Mainly just different colors. For the most part. We do got a book. A Barontosaurus. Oh, it's a notepad. Hmm. Oh, this has come out. All right, sweet. This is actually sort of reusable. I dig this one. Anything else exciting in here? <laughs> I like you. Little armored beaver. Okay. I guess we're going to crack into the box. It's like I mentioned, we're kind of at the point of... This one 100% looks like a kaiju. Some shape of... Oh! <laughs> Oh, look at those eyes. Like, again, that looks sort of normal. <laughs> Doesn't work out too well. All right, so what's in the box? Oh, it's just more little guys. That's why she didn't want to get a mix. God, that is the most upright looking T-Rex I think I've ever seen. Oh, he's pretty cute. I like the color shading. Little Gallimimus looking dude with some blood. So I think this is kind of like a lot of that same stuff, but she wasn't. Oh, looks like somebody just gouged the side of his face. She just hasn't quite gone through all these yet. There's a pterodon. I'm trying to see the more unique ones out of here. He's pretty cool though. Yeah, quite a few pterodons. Poor little Stego. It looks like like this one in particular, they haven't uh, aged too well. At least that color, because like this orange or red one seems fine. 
Yeah, for the most part, I don't think we're getting too much more uniqueness out of that box. So it looks like pretty much it. Uh, so far, <laughs> God, this is definitely the most hideous looking thing in this entire box. Uh, coolest thing is probably this bank. The first thing I grabbed, I think it's still probably, honestly, the coolest and like most practical thing if Casey wants it, she can have it in her bedroom. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. Also got Instagram, Patreon, pictures, and Facebook. Guys, I'll keep up the date with you. Donate, we greatly appreciate it. We also... If you guys like to get some dinosaur toys for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Help support the channel and get yourselves some dinosaur collectibles. And Casey wants you to go buy stuff too to support the channel. I say that a lot. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.